Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion, and I'm Bill Stone. It's now more than a week since the passing of Grant Amihara, the man that I remember as Lieutenant Hikaru Sulu from the extraordinary fan series Star Trek Continues. I would have posted about this a hell of a lot earlier, but I actually just spent the last week at my family's very rural South Dakota ranch land where bandwidth is extremely limited. If you want to hear about that trip to out there, I will be talking about it more on tomorrow's regular Thursday call-in live stream. That'll be at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Mountain, and 7 p.m. Pacific in North America on Thursdays. Grant Masaru Imahara was born on October 23, 1970, and passed away just last week on October 13, 2020, at the age of 49, after suffering a ruptured brain aneurysm. At only six years younger than me, Grant and I shared something of a parallel history. He got his Bachelor of Science degree in engineering from the University of Southern California and was hired as an engineer at Lucasfilm. And while he was there, he worked on The Lost World Jurassic Park, Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, Galaxy Quest, AI, Artificial Intelligence, Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, The Matrix Reloaded, The Matrix Revolutions, Van Helsing, and Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Grant was probably best known to most people for his work as a host on the television series Mythbusters, on which he designed and built numerous robots and specialized in operating computers and electronics to test myths. However, to myself and many Star Trek fans, Grant is better known for having played Lieutenant U- Hikaru Sulu on Star Trek Continues. Now, if you've never seen Star Trek Continues, go and watch it right now. <laughs> There's a link to a playlist that I maintain that's in chronological order that's in my description box. Watch Star Trek Continues. Your heart and your mind will love you for the rest of your life. Now, I didn't know Grant. I never met him. I didn't know him as a person, only as a TV host and an actor. So it's impossible for me to talk about him personally. However, as with all the cast of Star Trek Continues, Grant touched my heart in a way that I'll never be able to repay. Grant was an integral part of giving me Star Trek Continues, my Star Trek, one last time. To my mind, there are several actors who played Sulu on Star Trek. The most well-known, of course, is George Takei, who originated the role in 1966. However, in many ways, Grant can be said to have played Sulu with greater depth. You see, contrary to popular belief, Star Trek, the original series, was not an ensemble show, and it was never intended to be one. It was about Kirk, Spock, and McCoy. There was an occasional story that featured Scotty, and only one story, really, that featured Sulu, Uhura, and Chekhov. In all reality, the supporting cast was there for three reasons. The first was an important one, to make a statement about race and national relations of the 23rd century. The second was to provide a sense of continuity. You saw the same cast, you saw the same crew, just the same as you would if you were on a modern naval aircraft carrier. And finally, and most importantly, frankly, to feed exposition to the lead characters. Now, Aside from these purposes, their lines really could have been said by almost anyone, and sometimes were. But Star Trek Continues was different. While certainly it's still focused on Kirk and Spock, to a lesser extent McCoy, the showrunner, Vic Mignogna, made the choice to give the supporting cast far more to do than the original series cast had to do. And because of this, Grant had the opportunity to bring more of his talents to the character than George Takei had. And as Sulu, Grant was frankly delightful. You could tell that he was having the time of his life, and hell, why wouldn't he? To be honest, I am insanely jealous of Grant. To be trained as an engineer, work at Lucasfilm on Star Wars projects, host a science show, and then play a character in Star Trek series? Hell, I'd have killed half the population of Hollywood just to get a role on Star Trek Continues. But it's no exaggeration to say that Star Trek Continues was one of the great gifts of my adult life. It's no secret that I believe modern Star Trek to be a horrific, nightmarish mirror image of the optimistic series that Gene Roddenberry created. But not Star Trek Continues. Everyone involved with that series knew what really makes Star Trek special, even when it's portraying the darker side of the human soul. And Grant was an integral part of Star Trek Continues, and an integral part of bringing more than 11 hours of pure joy to my life that I can watch and binge over and over and over and never get tired of. And that's how Grant really touched me personally, by bringing his joy and playfulness to the role of Sulu, being a professional at his craft, and giving me my Lieutenant Sulu one last time. So may the wind be ever at your back, Grant, 
and thank you for the joy that you brought to my life.